Hey, 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 everybody, and welcome to my channel. It is Tea Talk with your girl, where all things are alleged and in my opinion. But please, while you're here, don't forget, hit that like button, share the video, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hey, 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 everybody. It is Tea Talk with your girl. First of all, thank you for coming to my channel. While you're here, please like the video. Liking the video is like letting me know you were here and you was in my house and you are speaking to me. So, hello. How you doing? Like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel. What are you waiting for? If you've been here more than once, you should already be a subscriber. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button so we can get to know one another, okay? Always remember, when you come to this channel, all things on this channel are alleged and in my opinion, okay? I have seen something, heard something, and now I want to talk about it and give you my opinion on it, okay? That's it. That's all. If you are a male fan like myself, then the last probably few 12, 13 hours, you pissed off, okay? Last few days, you've been pissed off because you feel like it's in another attack on Melody. And ain't we tired of that? I'm tired of that. I'm so tired of these attacks on this young lady. Did I say all things on this channel were a legend in my opinion? I know I did, but I just want to reiterate that, okay? I just want to reiterate that. That this is my opinion. Okay, so listen, check this out. There are a few young ladies on this good old YouTube street that I've been listening to way before I even thought of being a content creator. One of them is Color Me Pink, okay? Straight, to the point, don't play around. Um, I love her. I, I used to read her books. So when I found out that she was actually Keisha Irvin, who is also my daughter's name, Keisha Irvin, um... I was freaking out. I was like, oh, my God. I had to call my daughter and be like, oh, my God. You know this color me pink chick I've been listening to? She is freaking Keisha. So, of course, I inboxed Keisha, and we had a good laugh about it. Color me pink. And we had a good laugh about it. And um, I just love her. So, anyway, I was uh, fortunate enough to listen to one of her videos. Um, and she, too, was you know, triggered by Mel's video. So she decided to share a few things over there on her page that she hadn't shared, but she's had the information for a while. But, you know, she says that she don't she don't have a horse in the game, so she really don't come on here to reveal these people's secrets and all that kind of stuff because she really is a content creator who just wants to talk about the shows. And she talks about quite a few shows, too, by the way. So, um, if you don't know Color Me Pink, go check her out, y'all. She is all that. I'm going to put the link to the video that I'm referencing in the description box, okay? Because I won't be sharing any part of her video. But you should go look at it because she shares a court document on the page. And, again, I'm not taking her stuff off her page. I'm just going to tell you what I got out of the video, okay? So, anyway... We start off, um, she shows the video from yesterday, and she seems to think like I do, that Mel is a little, you know, she's her, she's not safe when it comes to Martell. Let's just keep it real. The, the man is off balance. He's the type, you know, the type that don't know how to let go, okay? He wanted his cake, and he wanted to eat it too, no pun intended, okay? But... He thought that because Melody, he took advantage of Melody, I feel. I feel like he took advantage of the fact that he knew that that girl wanted her kids to have a mother and a father. 
I'm sure they had plenty of conversations about that and he took advantage of that because they both grew up without a dad. But for Melody, it hit way different than it did for Martell, in my opinion. Because if it hit the same way, he would have protected that family. He would have loved on that family. And he definitely wouldn't have been out in the streets cheating on his wife. Okay? So anyway, Keisha wanted to let us know that Martell was basically lying. Okay? On Carlos King's page and any other page where he'd been at, talking about this custody order and how Mel took the kids away from him for 56 days and he did nothing wrong, okay? That was a bald-faced lie. But most of us already knew that was a bald-faced lie, okay? Because that man don't know what the truth is. If the truth came and slapped him in his goddamn face, he wouldn't even know what it was slapping him. Because he is so far removed from the truth that it's disgusting, okay? But anyway... Uh, Color Me Pink over there, she got them court papers. Now, she didn't expose those court papers all online, the ones that she was reading, because she got a little more respect for Melody. So she didn't really even want to talk about this, but she did. So now we're going to talk about it. Again, she said, Marta a lot about getting custody, okay? On August 30th, 2022, the court decided... The court decided that there would be no more public dissemination regarding the minor children. I mean, they can't go on social media putting these children on social media in the likes the way he did, okay? Because they really was talking to his ass. He had They talked about the father had deleted some social media posts. Um, his social media posts um, showed lack of protectiveness over his children, Okay, it showed that he wasn't a protector of his children by going on social media exposing a Mariah like that. Okay, um, they also said that to um, Martel that there could be no more corporal punishment, and they had to for the father. They said we gonna break it down for you so you understand what it is. No soap in the mouth. No hot sauce in the mouth. No spanking, slapping, pulling, pinching, forcing the child to consume anything, okay, as punishment. That's back to that hot sauce and the soap. Why would a judge have to tell a father that? Why would a judge have to tell a father that? And why would a judge take your kids for 56 days? It's because they had proof that your ass did something to tank that you shouldn't have done. So that's why they told your ass you had to go to counseling with tank. And you refused. You didn't do it until you went back to court. And they reprimanded you because you hadn't went to court in the four months from the last court date. So they ordered you again. They demanded that you get into counseling by September 20th, 2022. Okay? So when he on that TV with his mama and he pretending that he chose to go to therapy, he's telling a goddamn lie. Okay, he went to therapy because he was ordered to go to therapy. He never wanted to go to therapy. And the only reason why his ass went to therapy is because he uses his kids to taunt his ex-wife. Now you pick me's, pick Misha's, whatever your name is. You can pretend this man is a good father, but he's not a good father. He's not a good father. The court also demanded that he goes to parenting classes, okay? Because they felt that separating the kids from Martell completely was not in the best interest of the kids, okay? But if he did not do his counseling, then he could have lost the rights to take his children on his seven days, okay? That counseling was court-ordered. That was not a decision that Martell made. Martell didn't make 
a decision to go to court, okay? He didn't. He didn't do that. Not only did he not make a decision to go to court, y'all, he wanted Melody to pay for his damn court costs, okay? He wanted Melody to pay for his court costs. He dragged this woman to court and had the audacity to ask her to pay for his bullshit. Okay? Now, that in itself is enough. That's enough to let you know he ain't no great father. He ain't even a great man. So, we also had questions about the reunion. And why Carlos King was sitting his ass up there crying. Now, I heard people say, oh, Martel did this, Martel did that. But now, Keisha said, allegedly, and in her opinion, and she got some good sources, that this man attacked Mel's glam squad. Okay? He attacked Mel's glam squad. But y'all, that ain't the worst part of it. Own execs were there. They were at the reunion. But prior to the reunion, they sent something to all the cast telling them that there could be no violence at the reunion. No violence. Why would you need to send out a letter to say that there can be no violence at the reunion? Own? Is it because you all knew that Martel was capable? Is that what that was? So you sent this letter out to the cast to say no violence. But Martel came there anyway and attacked Melody's glam squad. But yet he still works for Own. Own sent this letter out. And Own said there could be no violence. But even after Martel disregarded their request, he still came and chose violence on that day. And y'all still got him working for y'all. There's a problem. This is the problem. It is Own. So while y'all busy sending these petitions to Own and doing all this stuff to Own, no one understand Own don't give a damn. Own itself doesn't give a damn. Because if Own sent out a letter and said no violence and this man chose violence anyway, Own don't give a goddamn. Period. All they care about is money, just like Carlos. And as long as they got them sponsors sponsoring that show and paying them, they're going to run this show and they don't give a fuck about Melody and what this monster puts her through. They don't give a fuck. I said it. They don't care. Because if you cared, why is this man still working for you after you told him no violence? He told the whole cast no violence. He's so violent to the people that Melody sitting there crying, Carlos crying, and he's sitting there with this look on his face like, fuck all of y'all. Because Martel Hope going to do what he want to do. Same way he said on Carlos's um podcast last week. He going to do what he want to do about his children. He want to see his children every day, no matter that the judge told him that he can't. Okay? No matter that the judge told him that he can't, he's still going to do it because he want to. That's what he said. He said he want to. So that's what he going to do. Hmm. Imagine that. But y'all, another nugget that she dropped over there. And then I'm done. I just wanted y'all to have these tidbits. But baby... 
She said the house Martell lived in, it went in foreclosure. Okay? It's been in foreclosure. The house Miss Marlene lived in, it's been in foreclosure. Mm hmm That's why her ass is mad. Okay? Because a house in foreclosure, because Melody left your raggedy ass son, and your raggedy ass son can't make the money that Melody was making. So now you and your raggedy ass son is struggling to stay afloat. And that's why you get your raggedy ass on TV, Marlene. Yes, I said it. With them raggedy ass braids. That's why you bring your raggedy ass on the TV talking shit about Mar um, Melody. Because you and your son on the same goddamn struggle bus. But guess what? Had you told your son in the beginning how fucking wrong he was... Instead of you trying to uphold him and being scared because the choices you made in the past, you don't want him throwing them in your goddamn face. I know people like you, Marlene. I know people like you. See, what y'all done did is you went out here, you made all these bad choices to drink and drug and do whatever you want. And you didn't take care of your kids. And now your kids come in your fucking face and they remind you every time that they can that you wasn't a good parent. So instead of you hearing that you weren't a good parent, you rather attack Melody instead of calling your son out. Well, Marlene, here's the truth. You weren't a good parent, okay? I said it. The fact that this man turned out like this is a representation of his mother. His daddy was in prison. This is a representation of his mother doing her, doing what the fuck she wanted to do and not letting her kids express themselves properly. Y'all heard her. She said it. She said they wasn't allowed to express themselves. So all the shit he held in, it's coming out now and it's adulthood. Disgusting. Marlene, you failed him and you still failing him because you won't tell him the truth about himself. He's a fucked up individual. He is a fucked up individual that will go to any lengths to hurt his ex-wife because she don't want his dusty ass no more like she told him on that reunion stage with his ugly ass shoes he always wearing. Hmm. She told him she don't want his dusty ass and she meant she don't want his dusty ass. But he mad because he told everybody she'd be back in three years. How does it feel to be wrong, Martell? Melody don't want you, sir. Going over there to the coleslaw that you wanted. You wanted that sloppy ass side. Now you got her and you don't want her. You low down dirty scoundrel. Mm -hmm. Y'all listen, that's all I got. I just wanted to make sure my people knew um, what was going on. The link to that entire video is in the description box if you want to watch it. If you've already watched Melody's video like I did... I just fast forwarded through the video and got to the good part, which was Keisha's, I mean, excuse me, Color Me Pink's um, commentary. Mm -hmm. And that's where all the good nuggets are. So if you want to see the court document, she has it over there. And if you just want to hear her tell, tell it her way, please go over there and um, check it out. But don't forget when you go in her house to like the video too, like you should be liking the video in this house, okay? Like the video, share the video. And please subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a safe and blessed day.